welcome all of you i am sandeep vidate as assistant professor kkw college of horticulture nashik now today we discuss or learn about detail cultivation of radish crop first botanical name of radish raphanus sativus family cruciferaceae or brassicaceae isothiocyanate it is a chemical compound present in a radish that reason it give pungency or pungent taste in a radish root crop among the root crop carrot and radish are the two more important root crops in our state now today discuss about radish crop radish is a good source of vitamin c contain 15 to 40 mg per 100 g of edible portion of radish root crop then it supply different types of minerals radish is a grown for its tender tubers roots which are eaten raw salad or cooked as a vegetables means radish we eat as a cook or after salad not only its roots but also its leaves and its pods are used for a cooking purpose in climate radish is a best adapt to cool or moderate climate means radish crop require cool climate means winter season tropical varieties can be adapt high temperature but to develop good flavor texture low temperature between 15 to 25 degrees celsius is required means some cultivars of radish crop can be grown in a tropical means warm climatic condition it require high climate high temperature but for good flavor and texture it require cool climatic condition or low temperature which is ranges in between 15 to 25 degrees celsius at initially or initial stage of radish it require 20 to 23 degrees celsius temperature for growing or germination period at the time of initial stage it require 20 to 23 degrees celsius temperature during hot weather the roots become rough and pungent before reaching edible size if the temperature increases at the time of growing period the roots become pungent and tough which is not good for consumption the next is soil radish can be grown in all types of soil but best result in but, but best result are obtained in a light friable loam soil for early crop sandy or sandy loam soil are preferred means early early cultivars of radish crop we prefer the sandy or sandy loam soil usually heavy soil produce rough misshapen roots with a number of small laterals and such soil should be avoided means if you go if we go the radish crop in a heavy soil the roots become rough misshapen and small lateral roots are occur that is then we avoid the heavy soil for cultivation of radish crop then varieties of radish first that is ganesh synthetic it is a regional fruit it is a regional fruit research station at ganesh kid pune from the region the ganesh synthetic variety is released its roots are attractive white in color mid pungent ready for harvest within a 30 to 40 days then its yield on an average yield of ganesh synthetic variety is 300 to 600 quintal per hectare the next one variety is pusa desi its cultivar roots are pure white length is 30 to 35 cm long tapering and pungent and heavy yielder means the pusa desi variety is a high yielding variety the roots length is 30 to 35 cm next one variety is pusa ketki it can tolerate high temperature it can be sown from middle of august and are medium large and stumpy pure white and smooth 
and multi pungent it become ready for harvesting within the 40 to 45 days after sowing next one cultivar is japanese white it is a excellent variety the roots are cylindrical that is 22 to 25 cm length and 5 cm in diameter the skin in snow white fresh crispy solid and less pungent it mature within a 45 to 15 days these are the important variety and some other is arkanishan pusa reshmi and pusa and pusa himani pusa chitki is number of times asked in exam or it is a tropical variety because it grow in a high temperature condition then propagation and sowing of radish seeds the radish crop can be grown or sown on ridges and furrows or also flat bed means planting method of radish radish crop it grow in a ridges and furrows method but sometimes it grow in on a flat beds also radish can be sown from june to july and august to november the planting season of radish in for in a tropical variety kharif season that is june to july july and for cool season ravi cultivars that is october to november month radish is sown in ridges and furrows open at 45 by 15 cm distance means the radish crops are planted of a proper spacing in a ridges and furrows method which is a 45 by 15 cm means in between two ridges or furrows planting distance is 45 cm and plant to plant on um, plant to plant distance is 15 cm on flat beds sowing at a 15 by 15 cm can be followed and the important point that is seed rate the seed rate required for 1 hectare is 8 to 10 kg manures and fertilizer that is manuring and fertilizer radish is a short duration crop it do not apply fresh and undecomposed manure in the field as it result in a forking and misshaped roots means it is a radish is a very short duration crop then ready for harvesting within a one or one half month after sowing that is an we do not apply the undecomposed manner we only apply the well decomposed manner at the time of last harrowing or at the time of last flowing or land preparation if we apply undecomposed manner that result in a forking and misshaped roots it is not for good for consumption and application of fertilizer the fertilizer apply at a 50 as to 25 as to 25 kg npk per hectare it is recommended by pdkv akola punjab rao deshmukh krishi vidyapeet akola that is the nitrogen and phosphorus and potash the fertilizer dose is split into two times that is full dose of p and k half dose of nitrogen at a time of sowing and remaining nitrogen half dose of nitrogen apply after 20 to 25 days after sowing then irrigation radish require steady and continuously supply of soil moisture for better root growth this also help in production of tender and attractive growth of radish at the time of sowing there should be sufficient moisture so irrigate field before sowing in dry weather frequent irrigation are necessary so at the time of sowing we irrigate the field first and then sowing is done for early generation the water test makes roots are rough and pungent in winter season irrigation is given at 6 to 8 days interval which is best for root development of radish then harvesting harvesting depend upon varieties the roots become ready for harvesting within a 40 to 45 days after sowing for the late cultivar and for early the rapid maturity or maturing variety become ready from 
हार्वेस्टिंग विद इन ए ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी डेज ऑफ सोइंग मीन्स लेट कल्टिवर ऑफ रेड इज इट रिक्वायर फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव डेज फॉर हार्वेस्टिंग एंड अर्ली कल्टिवर इट रिक्वायर ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी डेज ऑफ सोइंग देन हार्वेस्टिंग रेड इज एट प्रॉपर स्टेज ऑफ मैच्योरिटी दैट इज इफ वी डिले इन हार्वेस्टिंग रिजल्ट इन ए पीथीनेस एंड बिटरनेस इन ए रेडिश रूट मीन्स रेडिश रूट्स आर हार्वेस्टेड एट ए प्रॉपर स्टेज और अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंज्यूमर डिमांड विद इन ए पर्टिकुलर पीरियड दैट इज फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव डेज फॉर लेट कल्टिवर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी डेज फॉर अर्ली कल्टिवर इफ वी डिले द हार्वेस्टिंग दैट रिजल्ट इन ए पीथीनेस एंड बिटरनेस ऑफ रेडिश रूट्स ड्यू लाइट इरीगेशन बिफोर हार्वेस्टिंग टू फैसिलेट इजी पुलिंग ऑफ रूट्स वी ग्यू लाइट इरीगेशन जस्ट बिफोर द हार्वेस्टिंग दैट रिजल्ट इज गुड फॉर आवर इजीली पुलिंग ऑफ रूट्स द रूट शूट द रूट्स अलॉन्ग विथ लूज इजी पुलिंग ऑफ रूट एंड वॉस्ट क्लीन एंड टाइट इन ए बंचेस आफ्टर इरीगेशन लाइट इरीगेशन द roots the radish roots are harvested by by using pulling method with the leaves and wash in a running water and tied in a small bunches and sent to the market then yield on an average yield of radish varieties are that is ranges from in between 100 to 180 quintal per hectare for higher yield or higher cultivar its range is more that is 400 to 500 quintal per hectare these are the yield of radish then physiological disorder of radish first is a pithiness that is death of xylem which lead to hollow roots means pithiness it is due to the higher temperature delay harvesting and heavy application of npk means higher application of fertilizer and delay in harvesting and due to the high temperature that reason the roots are unfit for consumption that is physiological disorder or pithiness second one is acacin roots growth is check it is due to the deficiency of boron and variation in temperature these are the more important physiological disorder in radish crop then thank you for watching this video